facilitator of the FOSTER program, as well as a consultant who is engaged in different food security uh, initiatives and programs um, for Jordan, as well as for the region. Very pleased to have you, Dr. Walid. Uh, we know that you won't use slides, so we can uh, start listening to you. Welcome to this call and thank you. Well, thank you very much, Nicole. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to be part of this important session here today and meeting the colleagues here. Well, uh, just to be precise, because time is very tight, you know, the, the, the food system transformation this week has gained momentum in the year 2021, where Jordan has announced that uh, 2021 is the year for food security in Jordan and food system transformation and uh, at the highest level, of course, in the country. And since then, in fact, we considered 2021 is not the year, but it's the year to start a continuous uh, work. Uh, during which, I mean, from, since then, uh, several major achievements have materialized in the country in this regard. Uh, among the most important is the development of the first food security strategy for the country in the history. There was no food security, and also the action plan where the finance and time frames have been put there. Uh, of course, we have uh, developed also our pathways for the conference, the food, uh, the food system sub summit, where Jordan has committed to do certain uh, activities in between. Uh, adding to that, uh, Jordan, despite the general uh, law in the country not to establish any new entities in the government has established the higher council for food security which i believe is very important governance step is not only has established this but but the prime minister himself at the top of this and has instituted that and creating of a special trust fund for food security which is again very difficult because the Ministry of Finance and the World Bank, normally they don't allow this. So this reflects the importance and the priority that Jordan is giving uh, to the food uh, transformation systems in the country. Now, we, we also, in the final process now in Jordan, to establish the food system uh, management information system in cooperation, of course, with UN organizations, uh, WFP and uh, FAO, Netherlands Embassy is very active also with us as a coordinator representing the donors community and the World Bank also represents the financier. Uh, this is also in the way, but at the present and in preparation for the, the stock taking mo moment, uh, we are preparing the roadmap, food system transformation roadmap. We hope that within, we have the AIDS today and uh, these days, but uh, hopefully within a week, I, I, in fact, I was honored to chair the team that is preparing the transformation roadmap, and we are planning, hopefully, within a week or 10 days to represent it, to present it to the government, to the higher uh, uh, National Committee for Food Security to approve it so that uh, our convener will take it with him wrong. These are only the major activities that has materialized in between. Uh, I, I want to, 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 to mention also that we, we are working very close with FOSTER initiative, that's Foresight for Food, in, in really the important issue that we found out during the last two years that there are a lot of unknowns in the food systems, and unknowns that's very important in order to be able to plan it to know these unknowns, which is mostly need to be researched. Uh, we speak about food loss and waste. Everybody was shocked in Jordan about the figures that we are wasting 1 million ton a year, which has, which includes wasting also 180 million ton of water in one of the most scarce countries in the world. Where this waste happens and how, and how much we can uh, save from this waste, all these questions are not there. The same with food loss, the same with the uh, regulatory framework, which we think also is very important enabler for, for food system transformation. Uh, we don't know a lot about what is the proper regulatory framework that needs to be in place in order to help the future transformation. So with FOSTER, we are doing, now we have identified these three areas, but also 
speaking about the indicators, uh, just now you were speaking about this, we want to examine also in Jordan why some indicators about the Jordan are very high, that we are not performing well. And in fact, in, 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 in three or four of them, the most important ones, we are the highest in the region. We are reconsidering now the whole formulas and the whole calculations. And we see where the problem is, whether it's in the inputs or whether the formulas. Are. So these are the things we are trying to research through foster assistance. But also, we have already through foster uh, assistant, we have two already workshops happened in the country, training the people on the analysis of foresight analysis and scenarios, trade of synergies and how, how to value and evaluate the components when deciding to shift from shift from where to where first, and then how, and whether the shift makes sense economically, environmentally, socially, so that to make it saleable and palatable to the decision makers and also the private sector, because it's not only government who is doing it. In fact, the food system in Jordan is mostly governed by the private sector in the country. So this is the major, the major uh, issues that I can mention in this regard. But to me, more important is I think we succeeded in Jordan within the last two years to put the infrastructure needed for the transformation of food system. More challenging is we are on, on track, but now how to move the vehicles on this track by start implementing? I mean, some, some of the issues that are needed are there, and we hope the roadmap that might finish within 10 days will tell, answer this question, telling the government where are the priorities. Of course, we, can't, we don't have the resources in Jordan and also the capacities to do all at the time. Uh, the name of the game, how, how to prioritize, taking in consideration the resources and, and, and time we have. And this is hopefully in the roadmap, we can give indications to the governments uh, how to do that and, and what to bring, most importantly, the financial resources for that. Well, thank you very much. I, I hope I, I abided with that five minutes given to me. Thank you.